effort, it seemed like, through all four quarters. How did you get that consistency tonight out of your group? It's a credit to our guys in the locker room. You know, we got to continue to show up and respond. And tonight uh, was one of those nights where this is a tough game. It's tough to beat a team two, two times in a row on their home floor. Um, it's tough to get a, we'll play a team two times in a row. But to respond after that loss, um, I thought was big time. A huge effort from JV, obviously a big part of the game plan. Do you feel like it gets him going in a better rhythm when you go to him early, get him involved early? Yeah, I, I believe it does. And um, we're making a concerted effort to throw the ball to JV and allow him to operate. And it creates offense for us. Yeah, you guys went to him a number of times. It looked like in the fourth quarter. Just what did you see there in that matchup while you kept throwing it into him? We knew that they were going to double. So throwing it into him, two things happened. He can get to the free throw line. He's pretty good at that. And then if they double, we were getting open looks on the perimeter. Yeah, it feels like for weeks we've been saying, you know, get off to better starts. You got off to better starts these past two games. Um, you know, how nice is that? What did you guys do to get that start tonight? Just continue to play the right way. Um, you know, it went back and forth for a bit to start the game, and then we settled in and started getting some defensive stops. We were running. We were making shots early in the game. And, and we have to jump on teams right away. We can't wait. We, can't, we have to play with a sense of urgency. We did that tonight. Okay, we talked about that long practice on Wednesday. Uh, you said you just want to find some things. Do you feel like these last two games, you guys are starting to figure out some things on offense to be more efficient and more effective on that end? It's, it's a commitment to um, holding each other accountable. Um, like I said, we, we have to continue to show up each game with the right mindset and play for each other. Even the game that we lost, we played well. Uh, we did a lot of things well, and then tonight was carryover. And you think tonight was a good example of what we talked about before, just finding more ways to get, just have CJ be more effective off the ball, allowing the game to be a little easier on him with other guys handling and him being able to operate, you know, running off screens, doing that kind of stuff. Yes, that's definitely a, a, a factor for us is getting CJ off the ball a bit. He'll handle the ball some as well, but allowing him to be a scorer um, and opening up the offense for us. What have you seen from JB as a, as a passer and his growth in, in the last two years where, you know, when those doubles are coming, he's, he's making better decisions, it seems like now? He's conscious, and it's something that we, as a coaching staff and our players, we, we work on it. We work on what happens when they try to white him, front him in the post, what happens when they blitz him from the top, trap him, what's his reads, and, and we just continue to work on it. So JV's starting to see the pitchers more and more. And he knows when they do it, just make the simple play. And over and over, that's what we want to do. We don't want to get bored with the simple. You had a uh, double, double, or, you know, similar lead to that going into the fourth as you did on Friday. What, what just allowed you guys to put that away in the final 12 minutes tonight? Experience. We just went through it the night before, or a couple of nights before. And you know, I looked at, at our guys in the huddle and said, we, we got an opportunity to win the game, but we got to go do it. We got to take care of the ball. We got to get good looks. We have to get stops, and to their credit, they went out and did it. Was it a concerted effort for you guys to attack the paint? Uh, we're a team that attacks the paint normally. It was more on the defensive end, not allowing them to attack, attack the paint on us. Now, they did a great job of getting to the free throw line, but only 34 points in the paint compared to 60 points in the paint the previous game. Uh, so we, we worked on that in practice. We wanted to make those guys shoot outside shots. Uh, we can do a better job of keeping them off the line, but they infused their offense when they were able to get to the paint and get paint scores. Uh, was the pace tonight, not just the fast break points, but getting the ball up, uh, getting the sets quicker, and just, uh, just making it easier on offense? It's important. We're not a team that can play slow. Um, teams put their hands on us, and they're physical with us, and it's hard to put your hands on guys when you can't catch them. So when we rebound the ball, we, we're trying to get up the floor and get into our offense pretty quickly. Thanks, okay. Thank you. Thank you.